Hello everyone and welcome back to Clone Drone in the Danger Zone. In this episode, I'm going to be tackling Chapter 2 of the Story Mode. So I've beaten this before, but the recording didn't work out. So now I have to redo it. So it's mostly just a lot of hammer bots in this one. So that first level is easy. Okay. So now for this one I'm going to get Kick. It's just one of the best in the game. Especially since Kicking does not use any energy. Kicks are just really strong. Like... And of course, power kick is better because you can. I could like kick this guy and then knock over that whole group of enemies just by kicking him. But I can kick two at once. It just means I have to get it perfectly lined up so they're both in the range of the kick. I can't like kick him along into an ally. And now I'll just cut this guy to finish him off. So, that's a kill there, and now to the elevator. Now, while the elevator goes down, I need to kill a garbage bot for fun. I'm a terrible person. Okay, now that the elevator has descended, we're going to drop down and get our upgrade, and we're not going to touch the elevator. <laughs> Boom. So there's spikes in this level, but there are also archers, so I'm going to get block projectiles, and next I'm going to get the jetpack. So, I think after I get jetpack, I might get a clone, just for safety. I think they're good. Great for ensuring survival. Boom. Easy dub on all of those clones. Now, Mark ones are easy. But now we've got Mark 2 hammer bots, which is why I'm going to get the jetpack. Now what I like to use a jetpack for is kick sliding. But it's also good here to still have that kill. Also you can do that while you Okay, yeah, an easy kill on that hammer bot. That's why kick is so strong. Like any enemy is trivialized by just kicking. So you can just put it down on the floor and make it unable to attack you, and then just cut it up with your sword. Okay, so where's that archer? So now we have two choices: we can deflect kill, or we can do the sword power slide. Okay, so we're going to buy a clone now. Now, by the end, we do need to have get up as well. And now we get this little message. The fleet's arrived at the Centauri station, so now we need to be as quick as possible, or humans will start getting harvested. So. So we're going to jump from the back, from the back. 
there. Oh, a jetpack box. They finally spawned. Okay. I have a jetpack too. And I can kick. So, yeah. Kind of bullying them. Yeah, you can't combine a power slide with a kick slide. So, now for this one, I'm going to get energy capacity too. Now, this will just allow me to slide for way longer and execute a perfect sword slide. Okay, didn't quite kill, but still dealt good damage. Now it's hopping. And now we can deliver that killing blow and a killing blow there too. So now we can climb up to the upper floors. And we have some Mark II sword bots. Deal with. So the archers are our last priority because I have arrow deflect. So they're really not that not that dangerous. So now what we're gonna do to deal with our archers is hold a power slide like that to just kill them all. And then we're gonna flex our jetpack. And now we're gonna go down. Now they're harvesting a lot of humans. I've already harvested 2,000 and I'm only up to stage 7 so. I'm gonna buy energy capacity 3 just to have that long jetpacking and next I'm gonna buy the improved jetpack. So this is going to be a mobility focused robot which is gonna be good in chapter 3. So my last one did good damage and now this one's gonna be more mobility focused. Now we'll have to buy another clone after this but Okay. I wonder, can my power, does my kick keep going after I hit something? Yes. It's the other advantage of jetpack kicking. You can kick several targets in a row. Okay. One legged. So the cool thing I think about clone drone in the danger zone is the combination of like robots won't actively fight each other which prevents people from exploiting like you do in a lot of other games just starting a fight between two robots or enemies just to get an easy win. However you still have the challenge of, wait that was a mistake. You still have the challenge. Oh, and I don't have get up. You still have some a, quite a challenge from there, but then you still have they chain made it so that robots aren't just immune to being hit by other robots. They just don't target them, which means you can still create some situations where you can force the robots to get hit. They will never target each other which I think is the perfect to me ground because making enemies immune to each other is just not fun because like players will come up with a really intuitive solution like deflecting the arrows or dodging to get an enemy hit and then that does not get rewarded it just doesn't lead to any positive improvement so, I'm going to kill all of the minions first, because I do have get up, but, um, okay. So, I'm going to kick, kick both of those guys, take them out of the action somewhat. That's the great thing about j the jetpack, it allows you to move really easily. And the other thing is the jetpack can combo with the sword and the kick allowing you to do things like the jet kick. 
I missed that jet kick, but I'll get it that time. So that's a really good combination, which is why I like to pair the jet pack with um, the kick and the sword. Now I'm just going to wait till I have some energy. Two bars, I think, should be enough. And then we're going to go fight Spidertron and try and take him out if I don't skid over the back. Now, Spidertron 6000 is far more damaging than Spidertron 5000, but slightly less accurate with its bombs. It sends more cluster bombs. The Spidertron 5K sends a more targeted bomb, which means two of them can be very deadly. It's Spidertron 6000 is still a threat, though, especially close to it, because it can easily drop bombs right at its feet. So, and then we have the jetpack out of there to not get hit by the bombs. And then jump over the head, jetpack back to our elevator, and land. So now here we have to fight a Mark III Hammerbot. Now if we kill it, a garbage drone will get hacked and carry us down to join the human revolution. Okay, yeah, so another fun thing about Clone Drone in the Danger Zone is how the commentators are just ruthlessly mean to the player. Like, when you create a clone, how about instead of creating more clones, creating more skill? And yeah, I do need more skill. I just got absolutely obliterated by that hammer robot. And I've only got one, and I'm onto my last life. I really would not like to fail now. That would be very bad if I failed now, because then this video is going to end up twice as long as it already is. And again, it's not that long at the moment, so maybe dying would be a good thing, but I'm not going to. Oh, okay, that was a close one. But um, that's what jetpacks for, evasive maneuvers. For all the offensive tactics the jetpack can be used for, its best use is still just an evasive maneuver. Like, especially with hammer bots, you can just. No. If my jetpack had kicked in one second sooner, I wouldn't have died there, but that means we'll have to redo this chapter. Which is okay. This time I'm gonna get some different weapons. I'm still gonna get jetpack. But I'm only going to get energy too, and I'm going to preferably save just and do it on one clone. So I'm going, still going to go with kick first up, and then I'm not going to get arrow deflect this time. I'm going to instead get jetpack and buy the bow. So, sword robots are just trivialized by kicking, like, that. Okay, that's easy. And kill them both. How'd they both survive that? Must have not angled my cuts very well. It's not surviving that. And now I won't kill a garbage bot. I'll just descend in the elevator. Now I've bought kick now, so I'm gonna buy a clone early and try and live just off that clone. Now they're still harvesting humans, they're up to 10,000 now. I'm gonna buy an extra life. I've seen people do challenges where they just buy clones every time, and it's doable, but I'm pretty sure it's it's very difficult, because there's no improvement of skill, of your bot's skills as you go through, so yeah, it made a mistake there, it rolled the wrong way and ended up rolling off the map. But there's some easy kills with that. Yeah. 
So, spider 25,000 we don't face in this chapter. But I'm going to get the jetpack now, and then jetpack 2, and energy 2. Okay, so now we're climbing up. There are archers here, but they don't have very good aim. They're only mark ones. Okay, I kicked it right on its jump there. I've never done that successfully before. And I kicked it there just before it hit me. Now with hammerbots, you only have to take one arm off. Okay, maybe it was a mistake not to get arrow deflect. But, um, oh well. Maybe I should have just gotten the better strategy in taking out the archers before the hammer bot. But I don't even think I've reduced its leg count yet. Oh yeah, it's done now. And now, archers, it's over. And there's its last leg. Okay. So now we have to buy another clone. Which is annoying. So there's an extra life we've got there. And now... We can continue fighting. Now, as always, if you have any other suggestions for games like me to play that are on the PC or some Xbox games if they're available on Game Pass I would also be happy to do because if it's available on Xbox I can play it on my PC oh I missed my kick there I'm surprised they didn't implement the sword, the sword slide. It's shown in the promotional video be, being done by the player, but the jetpack bots, which have a sword and a jetpack, which are the only two things required for that move, aren't used, which I find strange. Now, for this, I'm going to buy jetpack 2, and that just reduces the energy consumption of the jetpack and increases the speed a little bit What? Oh, unlucky there. Annoyingly, it means I'm going to have to buy an extra clone here instead of a weapon. But that will be remedied in Chapter 3 because if you didn't know, anything you spent for clones in Chapters 1 and 2, you get those points refunded in Chapter 3 and can reapply them how you like for actual character improvements because in Chapter 3, you don't get clones, so... <sighs> yeah, and you can easily jump over most spikes with a jetpack, that's the other thing. It's like a continual burst. Well, that's exactly what it is, actually. And now we have to buy another extra life. Now, I can't die this time because I need to have that clone saved for the Spider-Tron. Luckily, this stage, if I remember correctly, is fairly easy. Just a ton of Mark 1 bots that you can kill with just some kick, sword kick spamming. So I'm going to take out the hammer bots first because they have unblockable, heavier, killier attacks. But 
I feel like in the end the hammerbots are gonna outlive the sword bots because um the hammerbots attacks are way more friendly fire prone. So So some people like to kick down an enemy then fight the one that's still standing just to even the numbers. But it's actually more effective to just take down the kicked enemy. And now that I've done that for stage seven in stage eight here, I'm gonna get get up. Oh wait, no, I was wrong. It's not this stage. Never mind. But still, get up is going to be necessary for our next stage. But here, it's not too imperative. As long as I skillfully strike, it should be fine. But now dodge that there. And there we go, a kill, and another kill. And if we just jump over here, then you can kill this sword, but oh, it deflects. Do not like it when enemies deflect me, but um, oh, what? I got killed again. Okay, so I'm going to have a lot of refundable points for this in Chapter 3. So in Chapter 3, you don't get points after, oh, oh. It just died. You don't get points after every stage in Chapter 3. You start with a fully specced character. Of a character with 10 specced points. Now, I need to buy another extra life because I lost it there. And it's always useful to have that extra life on. And now, those ones are legless, so I'll kill the legged ones which I just kicked over. Now, deflecting is also possible when you're fighting sword robots, which is why they're way less deadly than... Because if you swing at the right time, you can block their attacks. Hammers are not like that, because but it's the same for the player. All the weapons function exactly the same for enemies and player in clone drone which i think is a big positive because if the bots can do it then the players can too okay and that's what get up is for the bombs of the spidertron can deal some serious damage if you can't if you can't get out of there before you get hit by a second one now it's bombing at its feet which is why i'm not going at its feet and then Okay, I think I got at least one eye there. I'll go to this side so I can check. No eyes. Okay, I might vanquish a leg then. Okay, that's one more leg taken off. It's still standing fine, even without that leg. Normally I can just single shot the Spidertron with just a clean cleave through its eyes, but I guess not this time, so. I'll just slowly remove its legs and take it out that way until it's just on the ground. Okay, yeah, that's the other great thing about jetpack. The bombs have a few seconds before they explode. So if I'm there when they get released, I can quickly dash away. And even if I get hit by one, if I'm already dashing with my jetpack, I shouldn't get hit too bad by them. So now a kill there there we go and then dash out of there so I don't get hit now here's the final stage the mark 3 hammerbot the mark 3 hammerbot is very strong my jetpack is already good enough though to dodge it so I am just gonna buy my fifth clone just as a backup I'll get all of those points back in chapter 3 
to invest into making actually good bot for fighting. But if I fail again this time, um, I think that might have to be the end of this video, or it would just be too long for a clone drone video. I'm trying to keep my clone drone videos shorter, so... Okay, I dodged there. Now I killed that robot pretty easily. So now the Mark III is going to be the hardest one to kill. So we're going to save it for last and just avoid until then. So, yeah, that's one of the problems. It easily kills you with its hammer. And they've already harvested 27,000 humans. Thankfully, they haven't set it on fire yet. And I died again, and that's why I made extra, extra clones. And I changed my mind too. I'm gonna do a kick rush straight at the Mark III and then just kill it before it can kill me again. Okay, now it's just two Mark Ones. Now I'm gonna do a kick charge. I failed my kick charge, but I still got it. And now there's just one, I'll just kick it and then end it with my hammer or my sword actually okay it's done for and now the harvesting draws to an end and they're gonna set the station on fire with 26 276,000 human minds harvested a garbage bot just picked me up and carried me out it's carrying me away to the face of the human revolution So now, we get to the base of operations for the human revolution, and we crash in here. Oh, someone wants to kill us. Oh no, they've realized we're just another human. Yay! And everyone, thank you for watching, and this will be the end of this video, the end of chapter 2. Thank you for watching, I'm xterminator9876, please remember to like and subscribe and leave in the comments any other PC games you would like me to play. Thank you.